So welcome back to a very shocking episode, and uh, I'm in disbelief. I'm in disbelief. I, I get it, but I'm in disbelief because in all of my time, I've never seen something happen quite like this. The most anticipated game, I'd say nearly ever, Cyberpunk 2077 has been taken off the PlayStation Store and refunds are being issued to anybody who wants them. And good on Sony for doing that 100%. But oh my God. Oh my God. There's so much to unpack here. There's so much to talk about. Now for, as you know, it's my own experiences with Cyberpunk 2077 weren't the greatest. I love the city. I love the characters. But the game kept crashing. And I said, even I said that the game was probably needed another six months. And that was my, in my first thoughts video. And then in my last video I did, I said, you know what? I'm not even going to play the game until they fix it up. Because it right now, it in a lot of ways is unplayable. Especially on base PS4 and Xbox One X. I mean, it's crazy. On the PS5, it was getting by, but the crashes and the bugs were too much to bear. And uh, people have complained, and rightfully so. I mean, I just don't understand why they did not wait six more months or another year. If they came out and said, listen, we need another year. This game's not ready. People would be angry, but they would understand. They would be like, okay, you know what? This is crazy, but okay. Somebody over there said, hey, you know what? It's not ready. Let's push it out. Let's push it out. Let's just push it out for Christmas. We need to get it out for Christmas. And the one thing I hope this sends a message to every single video game company out there and says, you don't have to rush a game out because if you do, it will be a disaster. It will be a disaster. And Sony, I think they saw that so many messages were coming in. So many messages with people who were angry, who had bought this game, who were excited. And, you know, it's, the, it's a sad, sad event. The biggest game of the year has been pulled. It, I can't wrap my head around it. I mean, even when Fallout 76 came out, they didn't pull that. The game has officially been taken off. I can't believe it. I mean, I I will not... It's going to take a while. <sighs> the biggest game. The most anticipated game ever. And that is the problem, too. This game has been hyped up over the years. And I, I'm telling you, I was sucked in. The trailers were nothing short of awe-inspiring. And they were exciting. And they were everything that we wanted. Because we all like... Like, well, most of us really like cyberpunk. And this game really was showing that. And... Every year, you know, and this game has been in development for a very long time. That's what bakes my noodle. It hasn't been in development for a few years. It's been a long time now. And uh, the game was not ready. And CD Projekt Red said, yeah, you know what? It'll be fine. We'll patch it. It'll be fine. And this is the result. This is the result of putting out a game before it is fully ready. For the market. It just becomes a disaster. It becomes a disaster for all the players out there. And then it becomes a disaster for all the machines and all the people selling that particular game. And then it becomes a disaster, number one, to the company that has to backtread and, and solve this disaster. How do you come back from this? You come back by... I guess giving everybody back their money to number one. So that's the right thing, first of all. And then it's, it's about getting back to work in the game. And I think the thing that's frustrating is if they had just taken a little, you know, more time, which they're doing anyways now. So we're doubling up. We're doing the same thing anyways. So it wouldn't have mattered if we waited another six months to a year. I mean, I was playing on PS5 and I thought... Something was wrong. Never mind people who were playing on the base level machines. A 
couldn't imagine. I mean, I remember after I did my first thoughts video, I was like, I started looking at um, some video footage of P base PS4s. And I'm like, oh my God, that's what it looks like in my PS4? Like, whoa. You know, I thought the PS5 would have a little bit more res, but you know, even on PC, it's not about it even being optimized on PS5 and PC. There's too many bugs. There's too many bugs. My friends, people I talk to all the time, were sharing stories of cars that are upside down this way. My car was levitating off the ground. It wasn't anti-gravity. People were disappearing when I talked to them. I was in a, this big intense moment in the game and I'm really drawn in, I'm really enjoying it. Boom, crash, hard crash. Had to go back to the dashboard. Like, this is a big problem. And uh, I, I think it's up there is one of the saddest moments in gaming, video gaming. I think it's the saddest moment in video gaming that I've, I, I think I've ever seen. I've never seen anything quite like this, where the biggest, most anticipated video game ever has to be taken out of the store, basically. And people are issued refunds, which is, as I say, rightfully so. I, I've not seen anything like this, not with the most anticipated game. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Isn't this hard to wrap your head around? It is hard for me to even think that this is happening, that this is a real thing. I had to read it a few times. I'm like, am I reading this right? Am I reading this right? 2020. 2020 goes out with a bang with Cyberpunk. No pun intended. It's a shock. It's a massive shock. And uh, I, uh, I wonder where we're gonna go in the future from here. And it's really too bad. And you know what's too bad about it too? The core idea for the game, the city, the visuals on PS5 and stuff was really going somewhere. It was really, they were, and it just a little more time. But they wanted to rush it and then it blows up and then it becomes this. I get no pleasure out of coming here and talking about this game becoming a huge disaster because all that means when I'm doing that is saying that all the players out there had to deal with a huge disaster. They're frustrated and annoyed. The developers are frustrated and annoyed. Everybody's just annoyed and frustrated. There's no fun in it for anyone. There's no pleasure anywhere now. And, uh, yeah. Uh, man. I'm telling you. What shock and awe today. That is for sure, so... Anyways, guys, until next time.